Welcome everybody, with you Dr. Magdi Abdelrazi, consultant of infectious diseases, hepatology, and gastroenterology. Today, we will discuss colitis. Colitis is inflammation of the colon, also known as large intestine. If you have colitis, you will feel discomfort and pain in the abdomen. So, today we will discuss about types of colon inflammation and if it is acute or chronic, what is the manifestations of acute colitis and what are the manifestations of uh, chronic colitis. Also, the discomfort may be mild and may be severe and may appear suddenly. There are different types of colitis, and the treatment varies depending on what type you have. So, we will discuss now types and causes of colitis. They characterized by uh, pain, discomfort, uh, bloating in the abdomen, and we can categorize by what causes uh, them. We will start by ulcerative colitis. It is one of two conditions classified as inflammatory bowel disease. The other is Crohn's disease. Ulcerative colitis is lifelong disease that causes inflammation and bleeding ulcers within the inner lining of your large intestine. It generally begins in the rectum and spreads to the colon. Ulcerative colitis is the most commonly diagnosed type of colitis. It occurs when the immune system overreacts to bacteria and other substances in the, in the digestive tract. But until now, doctors do not know why this happens. As regards the types of ulcerative colitis, number one, proctosigmoiditis, which affects the rectum and the lower portion of the colon. Number two, left-sided ulcerative colitis, which affects the left side of the colon beginning at the rectum. Number three, ban colitis, which affects the entire large intestine. So, Another type of inflammation called pseudomembranous colitis. Pseudomembranous colitis occurs from overgrowth of the bacterium Clostridium difficile. This kind of bacteria normally lives in the intestine, but it does not cause problems because it is balanced by the presence of good bacteria. Certain medications especially antibiotics, may destroy healthy bacteria. This allows Clostridium difficile to take over, releasing toxins that cause inflammation. Also today, we will discuss ischemic colitis. It occurs when blood flow to the colon is suddenly cut off or restricted. Blood clots can be a reason for sudden blockage, like atherosclerosis or build up of fatty deposits in the blood vessels that supply the colon, is usually the reason for returning ischemic colitis. This type of colitis is often the result of underlying conditions. This may include vasculitis, it is an inflammatory disease of the blood vessels, diabetes mellitus, or colon cancer, or sometimes dehydration, or blood loss, or sometimes heart failure, or obstruction, or blockage, sometimes trauma or injury. All these causes may sometimes lead to ischemic colitis. 
although it is rare but may occur as a side effect of taking certain certain medications such as fibrates and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs so more research is needed to fully understand all medications that could be contributing factor also we will discuss microscopic colitis it is a medical condition that a doctor can only identify by looking at a tissue sample of the colon under a microscope a doctor will look for signs of inflammation such as lymphocytes which are kind of white blood cells doctors sometimes classify microscopic colitis into two categories lymphocytic and collagenous colitis lymphocytic colitis is when a doctor identifies a significant number of lymphocytes however the colon tissues and the lining are not abnormally thickened but collagenous colitis occurs when the colon lining becomes thicker than usual due to a build up a build up of a collagen under the outermost layer of tissue doctors do not know exactly what causes of microscopic colitis however they do know some people are more at risk of the call of the condition people at a higher risk include smokers especially current smokers those assigned female at birth those with a history of an autoimmune disorder people older than 50 people taking certain medications such as a proton pump inhibitor or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors this medication usually uh, for depression and also non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like aspirin the most common symptoms of microscopic colitis are chronic watery diarrhea abdominal bloating abdominal pain also we will discuss allergic colitis in infants allergic colitis is a condition that can occur in infants usually within the first months after a birth the condition can cause symptoms in infants including reflux excessive spitting up fussiness possible flickers of blood in a baby's stools doctors do not know exactly what causes allergic colitis one of the most popular theories is that infants with allergic colitis have an allergic or hypersensitivity reaction due to certain components in the breast milk some research indicated that a protein allergy either through breast milk or cow's milk or formula could contribute eosinophilic colitis is a type of allergic colitis that can also show up in infants with these symptoms its causes are similarly unknown but it is likely also related to a protein allergy doctors will often recommend an elimination diet for the birthing parent which involves slowly cutting out certain foods known to contribute to allergic colitis examples include cow's milk eggs and wheat if the baby stopped uh, having symptoms of allergic colitis these foods were likely causing the problem in severe cases sometimes we use monoclonal antibodies such as those used to help treat inflammatory bowel disease may also be another 
treatment option. Additional causes, other causes of colitis include infection from parasites, viruses, and food poisoning from bacteria. You may also develop in the condition if your large intestine has been treated with radiation. Different risk factors are associated with each type of colitis. You are more at risk of for ulcerative colitis if you are between the age of 15 and 30 years. Or if you are white or Ashkenazi Jewish descent or have a family member with ulcerative colitis. You are more at risk of uh, ulcerative colitis uh, if you also take uh, some uh, medications. So as regards the colitis, uh, in general symptoms, depending on your condition, you may experience one or more the following symptoms like abdominal pain or cramping, bloating in your abdomen, unexpected weight loss, diarrhea with or without blood, or sometimes blood in your stool. So investigation is very important to know the diagnosis. Sometimes we make blood uh, CBC and uh, sometimes we do uh, liver enzymes tests or renal function tests. Sometimes we make calprotectin in the stool. Also, uh, we can make uh, occult blood in the stool. Also, we can uh, use ray radiation. Uh, uh, I mean that uh, X-ray to uh, diagnose the condition or CT or MRI uh, on the abdomen to diagnose the condition. But the most important is endoscopic uh, uh, maneuver to diagnose exact diagnosis of colitis. The treatment depends on the cause. Thank you very much.